Howdy VC, Wes here, checking in with another Survivor video. Um, got my morning coffee here, and I got some records here that I need to get get through and get it get filed away. So, thought I'd go ahead and film another uh, episode of this. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. So this isn't one of those 15-minute uh, videos like the last one was. First thing we got here is an upgrade copy for Men at Work's Business as Usual. Um, uh, Men at Work are sort of an Australian 80s pop rock band, uh, a little bit new wave-ish. Uh, pretty well known, I mean, if you've ever, ever heard uh, Down Under um, or Who Can It Be Now, that's, that's Men at Work. A uh, pretty common album, easy to find. This is actually an upgrade copy for uh, one I had. I found this at uh, uh, the Salvation Army thrift store, so this is 49 cents for an upgrade copy, and it was actually in shrink when I found it, so it's it's a very clean copy. Uh, but yeah, it just sort of hits on my sort of love for 80s pop music. Um, it's It's a well-known one, and definitely have to have this in the collection so uh, definitely gonna be holding on to that uh, it's on Columbia Records alright moving on the next thing we have here is the soundtrack to the musical Cats this is the Broadway uh, cast recording um, I also have a uh, London cast recording in the inbox still somewhere, so I'll get to that eventually. But uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I enjoy listening to this. I'm not a, not huge into musicals, but I enjoy some of them, and this one in particular is is one I enjoy listening to. I I, I find it enjoyable. Uh, pretty cool. And these are on Geffen Records. And this one, I can't remember. It was either from the hospice thrift store for 50 cents or at the library sale for probably 50 or 75 cents. So, you know, another another one of my cheapy sort of thrift store kind of, you know, cheap things. I uh, didn't spend a lot of money on it but glad to have it in the collection. Um, okay, next up is, is an EP from UB40. This is Little Bag of Rhythm. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, you know, if, if you know UB40, they're sort of a, a pop reggae uh, sort of group. Um, don't like everything they did. Uh, this one had two cool tracks on it. Uh, me, on side two, there's a track called Me Spliff, which I really liked, and Hip Hop Lyrical Robot, which is a, a little bit of a rap, a reggae sort of blend thing, which I, I really liked, enjoyed it, and it comes in this cool uh, cool sleeve, so I thought I would go ahead and keep this. There's a there's a cover of uh, Cher's I Got You Babe on here. I don't know. It's, it's that... It's that UB40 when they go really poppy that I just, I can't stand. It drives me nuts. Uh, red, red wine, just, I don't know. I, you know, at the time when red, 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 red wine came out, I loved it. It was, you know, it was big, but I'm just so tired of that that I don't want to hear it. But some of their, some of their, like I said, some of these other tracks on here are, are actually pretty cool. So I'll be keeping this. And this is on Dep International. Or a and Records, I guess. All right, the next one. This is uh, something I know uh, Mr. Hall of Fame, Brandon, had recently had a thread about earballing, and this is something I earballed. Uh, went into a record store, and this was playing. This is the John Spencer's John Spencer Blues Explosion. Um, John Spencer Blues Explosion is, is sort of like... Uh, if you're familiar with the uh, the Beastie Boys sort of sabotage kind of that that sort of sound to it, uh, it it has has that sort of sound to it. It's very it's somewhat bluesy, somewhat um, hard rockish. Uh, there's some some sort of uh, hip hop influences. Uh, very very interesting 
very interesting blend of music. Uh, this is from 94, I think. Yeah, 94. Uh, this is the album title. This is Orange. And yeah, but and back in the back in 94, I walked into a, a music store here in town, and this was playing, and I had to buy it just because it sounded so cool. Uh, there's the there's the original inner sleeve. The album title is Orange. And then that's the that's what the labels look like. Oh yeah, and the uh, before I move on, the uh, the UB40. I'm pretty sure this was bought on Ten Cent Day at the record sale one year. Um, I know I looked at it several days, and it was still there on Ten Cent Day. It was either half price day or Ten Cent Day, so I probably paid a quarter or ten cents for this. And the Blues Explosion. I have no idea what I paid for this. What was you know, what was the average price for a new LP in '94? Maybe ten dollars. I don't know. And lastly, uh, one thing I definitely know came from Ten Cent Day um, at the library sale. Uh, this is something that's actually not going to be going in the collection. Uh, this is uh, Fossil with Snow Day. It's four track EP, I guess. Kind of look at the back here. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what it sounds like to me. It's very very sort of preppy rock sounding. Uh, it no, I, did, I didn't enjoy this at all. Uh, maybe there's something I'm missing about it. Uh, if you know anything about Fossil, leave it in the comments below. But I it didn't do anything for me. But for ten cents, I thought I'd pick it up. It's a ten inch. I don't have very at the time. I don't think I had any ten inches. Um, and it also is pressed on clear green vinyl. So it's it's cool looking, but I, I'm not going to be listening to this again. But it, it was it was fun to listen to. It was definitely worth ten cents to hear it, and see what it was. So yeah, that was that's uh, five more albums in the Survivor series. Four are going to be going uh, going back here, and one's going to be going away, but. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.